what is going on savage life taking a look at pfizer here and as you all know this is the company currently creating the vaccine and competing with three other major companies at the moment but as you all know pfizer is winning and you all may be confused as why the price is tanking but let's go ahead and see what the future prospect of this price is going to be looking like now if you don't know Pfizer has was founded in 1849 so it's been around for 150 years of, or so and if we're talking about reliability this here this company here is not going anywhere anytime soon so no need to fear if you're losing a bit of money here but let's go ahead and see what's going on with Pfizer now Pfizer began shipments in the US of its COVID vaccine and the first vaccinations were given this week it endorsed Pfizer's vaccine a week ago before the FDA granted formal authorization Friday to begin distribution. Healthcare workers lined up at locations across the U.S. to get some of the first injections of Pfizer's vaccine Monday. FDA staff recommends watching for Bell Palsy and Moderna and Pfizer vaccine recipients, which is the reason the stock price did drop a little bit. It was released on an article from Moderna where they tested 30,000 participants but only four out of them ended up with Bell Palsy and you say only four out of 30,000 is 0.0% 0.01% so what are the odds that you are the one to end up with Bell's Palsy well that's the problem you don't want any odds of there even being a chance for you to get this and when you're giving this vaccine to not millions but billions of people because this is being distributed around the world that is the major issue with this vaccine now yes it is going to save a lot of lives a majority of lives which is a great thing that's why in the future prospects of the stock or the company the price is going to rise because vaccines are needed for the economy to prevent major breakouts it's not going to prevent every single breakout from occurring but it is going to put a halt on major breakouts now i do think that more conservative investors would like pfizer out of moderna or BioNTech, since of course it has been around for 150 years they're a successful company over the long term and they have lots of other products already on the market other growth drivers their rona vaccine is obviously a big plus for pfizer but it's not the only thing backing up the company whereas Moderna, the vaccine is pushing this stock all the way to the roof. The support on this company is built on Moderna. None of their products have been approved as of yet. So what happens when this vaccine goes away? That's going to spell a uh, big trouble for Moderna unless their mRNA medicines become approved and able to sell over the counter in the future. So. If you want stability, Pfizer would definitely be the way to go. They do pay dividends as Yale has an amazing financial strength and growth prospects over the past five years. It's been up 20%. So slowly but surely, it'll definitely get you there. I know in this day and age, you want quick money, but something that is better than quick money is not losing money at all. And you, if you have a low risk tolerance you may want to avoid stocks like moderna in the long term but for short term gains i don't see nothing wrong with dipping in your toes in moderna i did make a couple hundred bucks this month dipping into moderna but let me warn you she is feisty now by the end of this month we are looking at a upside potential most definitely on these three stocks here moderna BioNTech, and pfizer over the long run if i had to guess i would say probably moderna may have the potential to be the biggest winner if their other pharmaceutical products get approved now another thing i wanted to go ahead and show you guys real quick quick which i thought it was funny was pfizer ceo hasn't gotten his covid vaccine yet saying he doesn't want to cut in line oh how generous of him He's not willing to test the vaccine on himself, but he's willing to he's willing to create this vaccine, not test it on himself, but ship it out to billions of people after it being approved and saying he doesn't want to cut in line to seem like a good person. Now we're gonna go ahead and see what happens with this vaccine. Keep an eye out because if major side effects do occur, 
in the coming couple of months this is not going to affect just these three pharmaceutical companies here it might affect the whole pharmaceutical industry so keep that in mind when buying into these pharmaceutical companies here so there you have it let me know what you think of this company and if you will be dipping your toes into it if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like subscribe and comment and i'll be sure to drop more content stay tuned i upload 10 a.m mondays through fridays so stay tuned for more content catch you on the next one I can't see you again.